Hey guys, I hope that you're all doing well. Welcome back. Let's play some more EU4 Forever Golden. And we are, um... We're good. We just need to go ahead and transfer some land over to Ostreich. Uh, because I don't want it. And I want him to have it instead of me. Because he can spend his admin on it. So, we can go ahead and, uh... Have this province here. You can have, uh, this province there. You can have this province here. There's the one that starts with the H right there. You can have Prague. You can have Polzen. You can have Eger. And uh, Erkus. Er? Erz? I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, this one. And uh, this one. And now. Austria is super overextended and they're gonna have crazy crazy unrest And so now we just have to take it into our own hands to handle it for them And so we'll do that But that just made everything way prettier in borders and uh, now we can go ahead and attack Savoy or I mean uh, Switzerland Actually finally connect up this land. That would be wonderful, huh? So mines would do it if I would give them land I will offer to give them land and I will give them absolutely nothing if get nothing for me let's go ahead and improve our trust with them I will call in mines Trier and Ulm will help them out Ulm's a little scary but I think we'll be okay um go with imperialism and uh go on in and uh start seizing stuff down Franco's still still doing it he's still doing well man so let's go ahead and get him in there um Let's get multiple people up there. So now everybody wants to join a coalition, which is going to be kind of funny. Um, I don't think it's going to be an issue because we're not going to lose any men in this for at least tentatively we won't. We'll just head on over here to this level seven fort. And uh, he's going to get stack wiped on there. Very good. And we get a wall breach instantly for some reason. Um, Scandinavia will join, so I'll call them in. Why not, you know? Sorry, guys, I got... Got uh, Zlevik sending me messages here. We have a fun little um, treat for you guys in the works. And he is uh, he's shooting me messages about it. So if you hear my Discord going off, that, that's what's going on there. Let's go ahead and get rid of those mercs there. Let's go ahead and have you guys suppressing rebels everywhere in Austria because it's going to happen 100%. And, uh, there we go. They shouldn't be taking attrition there. Barely. Yeah, they're not actually taking attrition, so it's fine. I don't mind. So, as far as this war goes, uh, where were those rebels at? Down here. Spanish Peru. Let's go ahead and handle these rebels. Like, basically any rebels he would have, we'll just handle them for him. Because that's us. You know, we're a benevolent overlord. We care about our people, you know? I uh, definitely don't want Separatists over there, so let's go ahead and get some Mercs over here for them. Oh, why can I not? Not one of our cores. There we go. Let's put 20,000 Mercs over there and just have them park their butts over there. Have you guys go ahead and go handle those ma those Rebels for them. Uh, apparently my guys in South America are getting spanked, but it's kind of expected, I suppose. Um... Autonomy change. I guess I'd never really spent much time looking at this stuff. Huh. I guess, you know, a half a duck in a month is not nothing. Let's go ahead and keep on converting our subjects' lands for them. All these rebels are killing all my guys. <laughs> Getting them all killed. I apologize if I'm a seeming a little strange right now. I've, it's National Margarita Day, according to, uh, to Chili's, so... My wife and I had a few margaritas before I got on to record, so I have a nice little buzz going, and it's wonderful. There we go. I wonder if I'm ever going to get a progress roll over here. Nope, I got a disease outbreak, matter of fact. What a joke. How much attrition am I taking here? Let's actually go ahead and take, like... Let's go ahead and take, like, uh, half of you guys out and just have you just park over here. Are we going to be able to progress? Um, 
Yeah, that's fine. You can go ahead and get annexed by him. I don't mind. We got another wall breach. Feels good, man. After all that garbage. Now, they won't make any progress down here. They're at 99% because this is... Oh, really? Goodness gracious. Level 8 forts are so overpowered. They have 30,000 men just over there taking attrition for no reason. And they will make no progress. You love to see it happen, folks. So we need to convert as much land from him as we possibly can. Somehow those rebels went from over here to London. And I don't think he's going to kill those rebels themselves. He might. We'll see. Stay tuned for that one. Bosnia still has a disputed succession. Um, go ahead and make sure we're still adding a bunch of... These guys over to our vassals. Or not our vassals. Ooh, we want a 7%er. I deserve that. I deserve that. For all the amazing times that I've gone to like a 70 some percent. So as for like what we want, we want to basically just have neat borders over here. Um, and then, I mean, honestly, we can give like two provinces to mines and he'll be super happy about that. Just like even one of them, honestly. And he'll be, he'll be happy about that, yeah. So this is not at all a uh, a war that is on the verge or anything like that we're kind of at the point in the game now where we're going to be able to kind of stomp everything um and that's fine with me i enjoy it honestly a lot of people a lot of people like i know palmer one of my uh one of my patreon supporters said that he isn't a big fan of the late game stomping and uh that's why he suspects um interest falls off a bit later on uh, in, in campaigns, and I think there is something to that, for sure. Um, but I also think some people enjoy seeing, like, you reap the benefits of the plants that you've sown throughout the, the campaign, right? I don't know if that makes a lot of sense, but very fun. I enjoy the stomp. Oh, look at this, look at this. God bless the Swedish. God bless the Swedes. Look at that. Oh, baby. And he almost full annexed Finland as well. He was pissed that I separate pieced out that war. And rightfully so. I would have been mad too. Alright. Keep on converting for him. Realistically, I should be converting for... Uh... Let's go ahead and sort by unity. Um, let's convert the land that we should be converting, right? Alright, Age of Revolutions is here. And a large capital is all we need in order to keep that. So let's go ahead. We'll take that. That's fine. Um, a large capital. Let's go ahead and do this. We have plenty of points. Like, we're still super far ahead. So we can totally sink a couple of these points in. There we go. And now we're going to shoot up through and we'll be able to get our stuff really easily. We still have our golden arrow for how long? I think it's going to be over pretty soon. 11 years. So, uh, we could probably peace out pretty soon here. Um. It looks like the French also attacked the Swedes. Or the Swiss, I mean. Um, so these guys are all getting sorted out. Let's take a look here. Is there anything else? Fortify Florida we're working on right now. Oh, wait. Am I building a fort there? And then here? Okay, cool. We're good. I think I was thinking... So I think this actually would count as my, my vassal. No, actually they don't because they're technically a vassal of my vassal. They're only an ally in the war. This is our colony. So, interesting thing. A lot of people don't know that. That a colony of your vassal is not your vassal. They are their vassal. They have nothing to do with you except... They will always be called in on your wars. As far as Vassal goes, no. They are their own people. Um, their own tag, separate from you. Uh, 15 states owned by Spain, North America, South America, assigned holy orders. Salamanca has a university. So, ultra conversion costs. Ooh, that's quite, quite good. So let's go ahead and build a university over here then. And uh, go ahead and assign some holy orders over here. Go ahead and do that. Gonna need to for sure. This is all British. None of this is stated up. So it also includes South America, right? North America and South America. So does that count? 
to say, take a look here. Regions, it should say North America, and this is technically South America is after the Panama. I think the Panama Canal is like right here. So like Panama is technically North America. Cool. We actually can totally do this then. We just need to find some things that are stated up that don't have. Yeah, let's get you guys over there. We honestly just need to find some land down here that we can set up for it, right? And we just need to make our way through it. All right, cool. So we got it. Now we just need our guy and we can actually get 33% culture conversion cost for 20 years. And then we need to uh, colonize the Philippines, which just means conquering a couple of guys over here, which we can do pretty easily. Realistically, we need to start conquering more of Malacca because there's still a lot of trade that doesn't flow out of there. But admittedly, I've kind of given up on uh, the overseas stuff. I haven't really put a whole lot of thought into it. Also, I need to make sure that we're not piecing out until we actually have the admin points to do it. So I'm just gonna sit on this one for a while until we have our admin points stacked up. Go ahead and get you guys over here. Might not actually be able to get that one. Level six, I think you need 18. 22, geez, oh Pete. Very good. Go ahead and convert some of the higher unrest lands to them. Look at all these rebels popping up, man. These Bohemian rebels. Finishing up our colonies. Let's go ahead and make sure we're converting for people. This is all Catholic, Catholic land as it should be. Wait a minute. He somehow took Smolensk, but he doesn't have a, he has a core on that. How does that work? <gasps> oh, he used return core. He still had cores over there, didn't he? He did. That's crazy, man. Commonwealth randomly returned a core to himself <laughs> in the middle of Russia's land. Border gore. Un unforgivable. Okay, very good. Let's go ahead and have you guys head over there. And have you guys head over there. There we go. Give us that plus five. Oh, it's only a plus four. Eventually, maybe. But we'll see. So let's go ahead and get that free stab. Go ahead and get that inflation reduction. That way we can boost up a couple of guys over here. So East Africa, we're going to need to boost. These ones have no chance. East India, we need to get up. Stillian, Company of the Malakas. Very good. Lost the Siege of Krakow. No. I don't know how they actually... They took back like all of them at one time. It's kind of crazy. I'll actually just let this spread a little bit before I really claim take it. Or maybe not. We're going to go ahead and embrace. Uh, remarkable. Selective breeding. 100 Diplo, innovativeness, livestock in wool, and base tax in Mantua. Very nice. Sounds good to me. Go ahead and make sure we are converting London for them. And Lothian for them as well. Uh, let's go with goods produced times 20. Don't care about that nearly as much anymore. Goods produced plus missionary strength. Diplo rep, land force limit, land manpower, global settler, land force limit. That's fine. They pieced out, you turds. They must have been getting walloped. All right, so we need three. We need a few more. Go ahead and have you guys suppress rebels over here in Brazil for them. Just in case. At the very least, we want to make sure that we are lowering unrest, which is good. All this border gore is so bad. People have been complaining since episode one about Cuba having this province. There's nothing I can do about it. Raided coast. Oh, you sons of guns. New Providence over there just making people angry. All right. Industrialization events are happening. Very good. We can click both of these. So, local defensiveness, every province in, owned by Spain or their subjects in the southeast region of West Florida 
with at least a fort level of three gets tw like this is so much this is so much that's that's extra as the kids would say people influence very good go ahead and get ourselves some uh some mercantilism which we're up to what 17 percent wow cambodian separatists Not much I can do about that one. Base tech sounds good. Coal? Well, let's build some coal then. Right, let's go ahead and get a debate. We actually have an extra merchant. Culture conversion cost isn't going to be too helpful. Let's go with like trade efficiency is fine. We're so rich. Like it, it literally doesn't matter. We're going to be rich for the rest of the game go I don't care about legitimacy you think I care about legitimacy go ahead and switch these guys back over to uh, trade power though I do not want that trading in coal sounds good so let's go ahead and see where we can get the best bang for buck for our uh, for our merchants Steering from Tunis, steering from Australia. There's not a lot of land, not a lot of money there. Steering from Timbuktu would be good. Let's see here. Yeah, let's steer from Timbuktu. There's some, there's some money in there. So let's go ahead and steer from there. Very good. So this will take us. Okay, yeah, we're actually gaining a decent bit. Um, don't need to be influencing Austria anymore. We're good. So we can afford to peace out now. Very good. Look at that beautiful, beautiful land up there. That's a lot of good forts as well. We're gonna go ahead and core all of that. Let's get you guys up here into the hills and we will suppress the rebels that will inevitably pop up. Um, let's get you over here in the grasslands actually. Suppressing these rebels. These rebels. And uh, eventually we'll attack Mantua whenever that truce is up as well. <clears throat> All these dang separatists, man. Let's go ahead and make sure that we're at least helping them if we can. Here. Alrighty then. Very good. Sorry, like I said, Slevik is uh, messaging me, and I don't know. I have stream remote turned on, but still, for some reason, it keeps on doing it, but... Um, let's see here. Change over the pale, content in that. Make this all beautiful Catholic lands. Uh, Baja, California. Very good. So that will actually... Should give us this one, right? Another one? San Francisco... Spain or its non-tributary states? Do I not have... I'm confused. How come I don't have this one? San Francisco is owned by Spain. Oh, s provinces. Oh, okay, cool. So I just need to add San Francisco. Um, let's see here. I assume it's this one. Go ahead, culture conversion. There we go. Diplotex and base tax in San Francisco. There we go. Very good. Okay. We are very, very rich now. We are making so much freaking money. It is actually incredible. And we're going to continue to invest all of it into these guys here. It's going to be so good for us in the long term. All these provinces are going to give us lots and lots of stuff here. My wife is texting me as well. Send me a picture of my pup. Very funny. Um, Normandy can be stated up. Might as well state it. There we go. Can go Oops. Dang it. I keep on sending ugh, my colonists to the lands I'm not trying to. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and get Pacifico Norte up and running. Let's go ahead and expel some uh, 
the more minorities, so especially since it's so cheap anymore. To be honest with you, I don't really care about which ones they are, just as long as they're out of my lands. But Basque is an accepted culture. I don't care. I don't care. I don't want it. It's not Spanish or Castilian. I don't want it. Dang it. I don't want it. If I don't want it, I'm getting rid of them. Period. I wonder why this is so, like, jacked. Like, I just want it to sort by religious unity. But it's not actually sorting by religious unity. It's sorting by... Hmm. Oh my gosh. Sorry for the all the, uh, the spamming of the Discord sounds, guys. I really need to just leave the Discord when I'm not... Leave Discord when I'm not... Uh, when I'm recording, I should say. Uh, let's go ahead and get you guys as well. Um, truce with Russia is over. Diplo tech cost reduction. Definitely don't want to continue that. How are they still having all these rebels, man? Is London Catholic? It is. Very good. Uh, Mecklenburg is blobbing pretty hard as well. I need to, like, sort out these rebel issues for them. So let's just go ahead and get, like, 30,000. That'll be fine. Let's go ahead and get, uh, maxed out missionary strength guy. See if we can convert some heathens for the enemies, or for our friends, I mean. Extra coal provinces is always nice as well. There we go. So, are we actually taking most of this now? Not even close. We are still losing so much money to these guys down here. Just don't get it, man. Hmm. All right, well, we can also start looking to attack these guys here. Um, I would prefer it if you guys were not allied. But also, at the same time, it's kind of not a big deal because I'm pretty sure we could totally stomp the Ottomans. I don't know. They don't have a, uh, Osmano glue anymore. Oh, it's a Moroccan dude. Oh, yeah, they do. My bad. I'm a dungus. Um, I was looking at the wrong country. All right. So, Wallachia. You want to get a Pete? You want to get personal union, my friend? Oh, will get inherited by Spain. Well, that'd be pretty cool, huh? Oh, we have plenty. Plenty of slots. Might as well use them. You know, Pomerania. No, noble, noble de Trastamara. All right. So. France revoked. So we can go to war with Mentua. And we shall. So let's go ahead and attack them. Go ahead and get you guys down here and get you guys down there. Let's have you guys hang out like over here. Um, let's go ahead and convert everything we can. Let me just go ahead and mute the Discord real quick here. Uh, sorry about this, guys. Like I said, I did not realize that I was going to be having so many things and sounds and all that good stuff so let's go ahead and close out discord boom there we go truce with yao is up yow um we're super far ahead on admin so we'll be able to take all this for ourselves and it won't be an issue at all so that's all fine and dandy um lost a bunch of claims on stuff up here that we had which is a bummer Do they have permanent claims on here do not I think it actually is gone right now. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, oh wait. It just doesn't tell me when it's gonna expire. Huh, we're at war with them right now. Oh, that's why it hasn't expired. Oh, well, there we go. Interesting. Uh, I can lose some mercantilism, I don't mind. There we go. 
let's just go ahead and handle these guys over here. We're going to probably full annex him. Doesn't make sense not to, you know. Going to be a lot of aggressive expansion, but I also don't really care that much either, so. Speed five in it until we annex them all. Uh, merchants remitted. Oh, no. Don't care about that. You guys can solve the knob. Go ahead and convert some lands for Austria again. So is this Highlands? Here's what I think about your Highlands. Oh, wait, I'm going to lose. Wait, no, I'm not. We're good. They're coming up here into the farmlands. Very good. And we stack wiped them. Feels good, man. Let's go ahead and get you guys over there. Um, morale of armies, morale of navies guy. We're half off now. Actually, I'm totally just gonna. I should have taken the mill points. Go ahead and do this. This, 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 that. Boom, bang, boom, boom. There we go. We'll take, um, full annex is fine. We will go ahead and core it all up as well. Oh, well, at least what we can afford. Wow, this is quite expensive land decor. There's also quite a bit of overextension there in that one. So let's go ahead and core up what we can. There we go. That probably makes more sense. And then we can go ahead and get you guys all set up over here in Trevisio. Let's have you guys head up there. This is a hill fort, so it's fine. It's nice to have all this land down here sorted out, though. I'll tell you that much, man. Jeez, oh, Pete. Probably shouldn't have our emperor leading war rebels fights against rebels, but sometimes it happens, you know. Let's go ahead and get you over there. Let's go ahead and have uh, you uh, not march, but uh, autonomous rebel suppression. What is that point? There we go. And uh, suppress those Austrians as well. There we go. There we go. Things are starting to look nice and pretty over here. We're cleaning up the border gore slowly but surely. We'll sort it all out. It's fine. It's fine. Convert Chester. This stuff over here. Apparently we have another colonist. So let's go ahead and uh, send them like up here. We're gonna end up needing to attack for that. As soon as we actually finish this, we are, we're basically done. Which is kind of crazy to think that this campaign is almost done. I've been having a lot of fun with it. Um, though it looks like these guys are allied to some... Pretty powerful people. Let's see here. What's there? Yeah. What about over here? Just chomp up. So let's go ahead and attack this guy here then. We're gonna... Lambda's been sitting over there for a long time. Just chilling. The Commonwealth. Bullshit. That's annoying. Choose with Newfoundland and all those people is over. That's fine. Go. Let's go ahead and attack you. For imperialism, of course. Let's go ahead and come on down, yeah? There we go. Come on down and stack wipe them. Very good. And over here. And there we go. And we're going to go definitely Napoleonic because look at this. Seven. We won that siege instantly right there. Pretty nice, right? Um, we'll just full annex you. Thank you very much. We can come over here. We'll actually we can full annex Champa for all I care. Let's actually have you guys brought over here instead, because we can just un go sit over there. Um, it's fine. Have you guys come out over here and come out over here. Good. Good. I'll actually just just take what we need. Um, go ahead and core it all up. It's actually just core. Oh shoot! Nah, man, we're overextended. Feels bad, man. Well, I guess we deal with it. We're dealing with it. We're gonna get rebels now. Feels bad, man. 
we have maximum absolutism? Oh yeah, we do. All right, cool. Well, we're definitely gonna get some rebels over here, as well as probably some other places. We'll make it work. All right, well, this has been a long episode, so I hope you guys are enjoying. Next one very well may be the last one, so if you're excited to move on to bigger and better things, show your support and leave a like and subscribe if you have not already. If you want to check out the Discord or support what we're doing on our Patreon page, the links for those are in the description below the video. And with all that being said, this is Chewy Shoot, and I'll catch you guys later. A big special thanks to Bloodbound92, Valentel, CWG, Dutch Terror, J Clampett, Yodaldo, Classified for Life, Corbett Gaming, Michael Walker, Palmer, Jonathan Crane, Airborne Animal, and all my other awesome supporters on Patreon. I appreciate you guys. Check out the two series linked on the left and the right, and don't forget to subscribe.